What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So this will be the spoiler free review for Cocaine Bear. Now Cocaine Bear comes out this week. Uh, by the time you're hearing this, that means the embargo has lifted. So yes, this will be spoiler free as much as I can help it. Now this is directed by Elizabeth Banks. It is starring Carrie Russell, O'Shea Jackson Jr. and a slew of other people that I do not care to mention. It revolves around a cocaine bear as the title suggests. <laughs> Now, after ingesting a duffel bag full of cocaine, a 500 pound American black bear goes on a rampage in a small town in the state of Georgia, where a group of locals and tourists must join forces to survive the attack. Now, Cocaine Bear is probably going to be the most ridiculous film I've seen all year and the most tempting when it comes to trying cocaine, which is something I have never done, nor do I actually plan on doing it, just making a joke. <laughs> It's a simple, straightforward, well-crafted horror comedy for the most part. The ridiculousness of it all keeps it engaging. And while the screenplay, I would say, is a little underwhelming in terms of juggling way too many side adventures for you to really invest one way or another in any of them before they've ultimately become conjoined into one fight against this bear. The humorous banter and lovable characters are enough to keep the film interesting in some degree in terms of what's on your screen for an hour and 35 minutes by lovable i do not mean that in a way to applaud the movie for its character development but the performances do enhance the otherwise paper thin people that this story is revolving around hats off to the very convincing cg bear which is obviously something i would argue and many of you would also argue would have been better if it was practical but Still, for what it was, it managed to keep everything on screen believable for me, at least. As someone who grew up loving movies like Lake Placid and Eight-Legged Freaks, Cocaine Bear more than satisfied me. It's not the best thing ever. It's not the worst thing ever. That does not mean that I would go out of my way to tell you that this was a 10 out of 10 good movie. Because I just, I don't. I don't consider this to be, you know, a straightforward double thumbs up good movie i just i just really enjoyed it <laughs> i'm certain without elizabeth banks's direction that a lot of this nonsense would have fallen flat but it didn't thankfully uh nothing with the characters is going to blow you away given that the film again is not meant to be taken seriously you get a mother and daughter who have a pretty decent relationship but the daughter isn't fond of her mother's new boyfriend so in an act of attention seeking the daughter decides to skip school with her friend and these and these kids find themselves trapped in the clutches of cocaine bear you have those kids playing hooky you have drug dealers trying to recover the fallen cocaine unserious cops trying to capture the drug dealers a lousy park ranger who has terrible aim and a trio of thugs who are about as intimidating as the teletubbies what the film lacks in enriching character arcs it makes up for it through banter about drugs kids cursing and of course several gory attacks from the titular character itself performance wise carrie russell is wonderful as this single mother searching for her daughter now o'shea jackson jr is decent enough as well and the kids are really good too i always gotta praise strong kid performances and you will get that in cocaine bear and yes cocaine bear is one of those movies that think that hearing kids curse is going to be funny every time you hear it and i'm telling you it's not the amount of times that the kids were cursing in this movie each time it's not going to be funny you know that that shtick kind of wears off after you do it so many times admittedly again not all of the jokes are going to land especially the ones pertaining to cocaine if you are someone like me who doesn't know the first thing about drugs especially cocaine however there's never a dull moment with the movie it's an absurd delight through and through if you want to see something that is stupid but executed in a very entertaining way this is it there's, there's not much else that needs to be discussed again the performances are strong enough banks's direction really amps up the otherwise dumb as fuck story <laughs> and while the screenplay offers you a group of characters you couldn't give two craps about the activities with the bear are worth checking this out at least once i would say if the drug jokes don't land for you the jokes about the park ranger who has a very bad aim should help with that and of course the other banter that you get along the way in this movie which never overstays its welcome again it never has a single dull moment it knows what it is it lives up to its name and it l thrives in those instances where the bear is on your screen terrorizing these characters now when it comes to one of my favorite sequences in the movie which is one of the reasons why i would say you should see this with a very rowdy crowd or at least see it in a very packed theater 
It is the ambulance sequence that I know was teased in some of the TV spots and I think it might have been in the trailer. I didn't really watch too many of the trailers that came out for this project. But the ambulance sequence is very ridiculous, very over the top, very just outright hilarious in every way possible. And the gore and the things that happen during that sequence are just going to have you wincing, laughing, cringing in a good way. When the gore is, is on screen, it's very well executed displays of gore. I loved all the gory moments of this movie. Uh, again, I think that Carrie Russell was great in her role. There's not a lot to these characters. When they're on screen, truthfully, they are very boring. They are very dull. They are very paper thin. What enhances them is the direction and who is the who are the people bringing them to life so shout out to all of the performances because you guys definitely made the best out of a otherwise what many people would argue if you were to read this a terrible screenplay most likely it's very illogical as as the title suggests to you again it's called freaking cocaine beard <laughs> go into this movie turn your brain off have fun with it uh don't have fun with it i don't really care i'm just telling you what my thoughts are were on it it's not the worst made movie. It's not the best made movie. If I were to rate this on a scale of one to 10, I would give Cocaine Bear a five and a half out of 10. Did I like the movie? Yes, I had a lot of fun with it. I thought it was a very, for the most part, well-crafted horror comedy. There's just, again, things about it that definitely keep it down below me going out of my way to tell you this is outright a very good, great movie. It's just, it's just not. It's dumb fun is what it is. It's better than, of course, other movies you've heard me recently review, like Jeepers Creepers Reborn. Hell yes, it's better than that. In comparison to Jeepers Creepers Reborn, this would be a 10 out of 10. But all in all, I enjoyed Cocaine Bear. I am going to rewatch it over the years. Uh, I, again, if you're someone who loves movies like Lake Placid and... Lake Placid and Eight-Legged Freaks were the two biggest things this movie reminded me of. Sometimes I was thinking about Harold and Kumar. That was just me also while watching this movie. It wasn't, it wasn't again, the worst thing. It wasn't the best thing. It was very middle of the road, straightforward, dumb fun that doesn't overstay its welcome. Not a lot much to it. Not much that really should be overly analyzed or critiqued because, again, it was just something for you to go into knowing, knowing that it inherently is absurd. So just sit down, shut the fuck up, have fun, or don't. I don't care. <laughs> again, I give it a five and a half out of 10 let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video in the description i will have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you would like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video